Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. We are here with the explanation for the dua of the sixth day of the month of Ramadan in this episode of Ramadan's Daily Inspirations. Allahumma la takhtulni fiha litaarrud ma'asiyatik. Ya Allah, on this day, do not let me abase myself with my audacity in your disobedience. Wa la tadribni bisiyat naqamatik. Ya Allah, do not strike me with the whip of your punishment. Wa zahzihni fiha min mujabat sakhatik. And keep me away from what causes your anger. By your grace and mercy, O the ultimate wish of those who desire. Our first dua today is to maintain our dignity and respect in the society by not committing sins. A few days ago, we mentioned that if people knew about each other's sins, they wouldn't even bury each other. In spite of our social status, no matter if we are the imam of the masjid, or a university professor, or a simple worker, no matter who we are, when people understand that we are a sinner, when people understand that we are disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they won't have respect for us. Everyone says, yeah, this is the guy who beats his wife. This is the guy who doesn't fast during Ramadan. This is the guy who doesn't pray. This guy swears a lot. We, we will have a reputation as someone who is not respectful to the rules. And that's what we are asking Allah to keep us away from on this day. What is Allah's whip of punishment in this world for us? A flood? An earthquake? Losing your loved ones? A pandemic? Yes, these are all examples for Allah's punishment. We are asking to be saved from Allah's punishment. How should we do that? Here's how. Keep me away from what makes you angry. If you want to be saved from a lost punishment, do not make him angry. We have different ahadith that Allah, although He is merciful, although He is forgiving, there are sins that He will not forgive. First of all, the, the most common one is a repeated sin. Something that you insist on repeating every day despite the fact that you know it's a sin. We have in the narrations that Allah will forgive 70 sins from the one who doesn't know he's committing a sin before he forgives one from someone who is aware of his sin. Sins like riba, gossiping, qibat, being drunk all the time, these are repeatedly mentioned in the ahadith regarding the sins that Allah will not forgive. And once again, the mannika wa ayadik, ya We come to you, ya Allah, because you are merciful, you are kind, you are gracious. You are the one that anyone who knows what's good for him wishes for, ya Allah. We are asking you by your grace and mercy, do not place us among the sinners. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.